Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Harakak Vadash. Double honors to my old apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach you all. And honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners these last days. Shalom. Okay, and uh, let me get it. And don't mind the font. I know everything uh, is huge, you know. Uh, that's the method I use when I'm, you know, studying and things like that. But uh, in this sit down, it's going to try to make it quick as possible. All right, we're going to, going to go into who is Esau according to the Bible, you know. And we're going to use two things to identify uh, who is Esau according to the Bible. Okay, uh, using, you know, uh, in Salakia, if I'm saying it wrong, using geographics. Uh, and skin color, okay? Because if you leave it up to Esau, you know, he's going to just, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know, which there were a devil, devil, uh, Diablo, you know, it goes into a, a, sl a slander, you know, a, a accuser, a deceiver, okay? So that's, that's, that fits the description of the so called white man, you know? Every time you turn around, you, you, you find out he lied about this. He lied about that. You know? You know, baby powder caused this to babies. Boom, bam, boom, bam. You know, so it's like, you just, he's, he's being revealed. He's being revealed, you know, uh, in the whole world, seeing his nakedness. Okay? He's been revealed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by the prophets. Okay, so take a good look at this. This is, uh, you know, Mount Seir. Also, Mount Seir and Mount Petra, the same place. Okay. So this is what this is where the Edomites was living. Okay. You know, and uh, over time, you know, they, uh, you know, migrated to the, the Caucasus Mountains. You know. Hence, they call themselves, uh, you know, Caucasians, which the Caucasus Mount Mountains is uh, in Europe. Okay, I'm gonna get that picture. So take just take a good look at that. Let's get picture. It's the same. It's the exact same thing. So okay. This is a good uh, picture right here. See Mount Seir, also called Mount Petra. Uh, see, look, is is no new thing under the sun. You know, it's no new thing under the sun. In every nation of people under the sun, they behave they behave themselves a certain way. Like you'll have a. a you know, um, you have like a, a Chinese person come to America, even though they're here in a, another land or whatnot, they're still going to keep their ways. They're still going to keep their customs, some fashion, a form of it. You know, they're not just going to totally do away with, uh, you know, their ancestors and, you know, uh, the things they used to do in their homeland. They're going to try to keep some of them. And they're going to have representations of, like, where they come from, you know? Uh, you got, you say, Greece, Rome, Spain, France, uh, Russia, Germany, Great Britain, United States. So it's, it's, it's obvious, man. It's obvious. That's why, that's why he about to come down with the Great Wrath. And through the midst of this, you know, he's 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 plotting against the the, uh, the poor. Who is the poor? The elect. You know. <clears throat> you know the when the scriptures talking about poor, okay. 
Now, in certain instances, it's, it's uh, you know, literal. But when the scriptures are talking about poor, it's talking about the, the, the elect, okay? Because the, only the elect is in that, that poor and, and contrary spirit, you know. Uh, let's get this picture. Oh, it's so like my, uh, it, it might look blurry, you know, phone slow, data and shit. All right, that, that's pretty much it. You know? And we all know how the Caucasus Mountains look, you know, which the Caucasus Mountains is, uh, it's, it's, it's in Europe, you know, but when you look it up, it's going to be in between uh, Europe and Asia, which that forms Eurasia. But it's, it's Europe. I say Europe. Fuck it. All right. Now, this is uh, this precept right here. It covers the, the images which we just seen. So this. The truck by. All right. This is Job, Job 30 and 5. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them. As after a thief. Okay. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys. In the caves of the earth. And in the rocks. Okay. That's talking about Esau. That's where the Lord put them at. Okay. Uh, and it says to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys. In the caves of the earth. And in the rocks. Okay. Okay. Among the bushes they braid, under the needles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Meaning they ain't shit. You know, just look how they care themselves. You know, after using the restroom, they're not about to wash them hands. <laughs> you know, that's a small example, but, you know, it gets worse than it. You know, just, just, just uh, you know, they... They don't like their food well done. You know. They like they like their food just just raw. You know, raw and uncut. You know. <clears throat> Some of them, you know, be try to be half decent and get uh medium rare, you know. Which that's still off. Alright, you post a you're not supposed to eat blood, okay? The scripture, the law goes into that. Okay? You're clearly not supposed to eat blood. But the white man does. Okay? Let's get this other precept. Okay? I thought I marked Make sure we still going. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, Job 30 and 8. Let's get that uh, word. Let's get that word right here. Right, and the Lord did that to uh, the nation of Edom to strike, scorch, smite. A primitive root to smite, drive away, be violent. You know, because the Lord, the Lord tells you, uh, uh, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know, the Lord gave Esau leprosy. Shame, shame. So it says a uh, primitive word, perhaps rather from H7760 through the idea of definite or conspicuous position. Okay. 
We're gonna get that word conspicuous. Uh, Strong's definition, it said, uh, through the idea of definite and conspicuous position and affiliation as a mark or memorial of individuality by implication, honor, authority, character, base, uh, infamous, uh, name, renown, report. Let's get that word. Uh, conspicu conspicuous, easily seen. All right, and let's get that word infamous. I might have to type it in. get that word infamous right quick it says infamous well known for some bad quality or deed wicked abominable okay so that's what it means to be base Right. <clears throat> you know, so yeah, Esau, you're famous. You know, you you you're, you're well known, so-called white man. You're well known. You know, uh, your name rings out throughout the earth, but not for a good thing, though. Not for the right reasons. Okay. Stop, Draco. So your name. Your name is is it's it's not even worth toilet paper at the end of the day. These other nations, you know, hate Babylon the Great America. Alright? The citizens uh in Babylon the Great, okay, they're mourning. Alright, so you, you got no, nothing the only only people that's gonna say something good about Esau is the Coons. You know. <clears throat> the, 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 the Sams, the Coons, okay, the ones that's that's just, you know, they're bugged out of their mind, you know, but these other nations, you know, they're in their right mind. They they see, like, damn, this this is the devil. This is, he's more stout than his fellows. He just he's so powerful in in doing wickedness, you know. And you and you got the the uh, men of the Lord. Throughout the, all the earth, uh, exposing Esau, the so-called white man, for who he is, and he fits the prophecy. He's not—he's never going to admit it, you know. Just because you you cut up a Edomite, you know, on the uh, put that down. Just because you uh, you know, cut up a Edomite on the highways and byways, you know, you bring out the precepts and shut them up, doesn't mean you know they're going to. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we gotta wait upon Yahweh Bashmel Shah. You know, uh, you know, to deliver us. You know, take us out out, out of the uh, hands of our enemies. Okay, because you know Esau is still he's still holding on to his last seconds. All right, to his kingdom. You know, the Lord is about to take away his rulership over the earth. All right, so we we're wait we're waiting on the Lord. Okay, let's get a precept for that. It's Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and they they also which pierced him. So every eye shall see him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so all men. All right. So it be. Okay. So the Lord is coming back. All right. <clears throat> the Lord is coming back. Let's see. I'm 
gonna get this preset before I get the other one. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. And we're gonna end it off on the uh, the one in, in uh, Genesis. Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay. Just look at look at how the, the Bible talks about him. In in no good in 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 is nothing good, you know. It said at least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. You know, disgusting. Just the just hate it, the most wicked in all the world. Who for one more so of meat sold his birthright. So keep it in mind, it says for who for one morsel of meat sold, he sold his birthright, you know. But uh, if you listen to Esau, the so-called white man, he's going to say Jacob stole Esau's birthright. It's like, damn, you know, uh, so-called white man, you taking it personal. Like you taking it, you adding and taking away from the Bible. You know, when, when it comes to that, he's going to be like, yeah. Jacob, he stole Esau's birthright. You know, it's like, man, you, you feel some type of way about that. You know, I thought y'all you y'all was an Edomites. You know, why why does that bother you? You know, why they stick to that? You know, they're not going to just be like, oh, yeah, y'all was right. Uh, you know, Esau sold, sold his birthright. They're not going to say that. They're going to continue to say Jacob stole Esau's birthright. You know, they sound hurt. Okay, let's read it again. Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how they after it when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. <clears throat> Is Genesis 25 and 20. I started at 19. Genesis 25 and 19. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old uh, when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padanarium, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife, because she was barren and the Lord Yahweh was entreated of him and Rebecca his wife conceived you know because barren goes until you're unable to bear children okay so uh, the Lord you know basically blessed her open up her womb so she can have children alright and it says and the children struggled together within her and she said it, if it be so why am I thus and she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So it said two nations of people are in her womb. You know, that's a separation. So it clearly shows they're not of the same nation of people. Okay? And uh, uh, you can go look, get Genesis 20, uh, Genesis 25 and 23. In another translation, well, let's let's do that now. I ain't want to do it, but I'll do it. It says, this is Genesis 25 and chapter 25, verse 23, English Standard Version. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in your womb, 
and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. All right, now let's go back. Let's read it. Genesis 25 and 23. And that's not how you, you uh, that's just how, you know, because old English, sometimes it can be like hard to comprehend, you know, like, uh, you know, you'll, you'll read something, you know, a brother will bring out a precept and it'll be on topic, but the, the way it's worded, it'll confuse you if it, if it, you know, wasn't broken down to you. All right. That's why you have to be taught, you know, uh, Genesis, Genesis 25 and 23. And it says, oh, wait, so like, yeah, I'm, uh. No, I'm, I'm at the right spot. It's lucky. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. The elder is whoever came out first. All right? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And uh, we're going to go into the word to Esau. And it says, And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac uh, was threescore years old when the bear when, when she bare uh, them. Okay? Which threescore is uh, 60. All right? And it says... Uh, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Okay? And and this, this is their behavior. Okay? This is how Esau behaves to this very day. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Okay? Uh, when it comes to, you know, you, you're not going to love hunting more than a white man. Straight up. He loves hunting. All right. If you if you look up all them different um, survival videos or just hunting videos or whatever like that, it's going to be majority Edomites for the for the most part. You know, and you're gonna have a couple Jakes out there. You know, but it's it's, it's majority gonna be Esau. He he does his does his that's his thing. You know. All right. Uh, and it says, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. You see that spirit on our people. You see that. You see this. You see the spirit of Esau on the so-called white people, and you see the spirit of Jacob on the so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who are Israelites of the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. That's 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 how we get down. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. We be chilling. What what Jake do all day? You know. Uh, uh we well well the niggas of this world, we're gonna describe the the, the, the niggas of this world are two thirds wicked Israelites. What they do all day. You know, Jake Jake gon he gonna smoke, you know. Gonna get some box, play video games, or go, you know, shoot basketball or some shit, you know. But Jake, for you know, Jake gonna be, he gonna be chilled out, you know. He's not gonna be doing too much. You know, our people, we're, we're you know, peaceful people. You know, uh, Jerusalem, you know, means uh, city of peace, Okay. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who, who, who uh, when the Bible is talking about Jacob, is talking about you. You make up the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, we're we're initially a city of peace. We're peaceful people. You know. All right. Even when you compare like um, the crimes that Esau does versus the crimes that 
uh, you niggas do. You know, <clears throat> you know, Jake. You know, Jake. They be they be fucking over each other. You know, living by the sword and dying by the sword. But you know, not to the magnitude of how Esau get down. You know, when Esau, uh, you know, when he crashed out, he crashed out big time. You know, you can you can look this up for yourself. You know, uh, on Google. You know, the things that the things that Esau does is just, you know, is is to the max. Stop, Jerko. You know, it's to the max. Like with the the Buffalo supermarket. You know the Buffalo supermarket, the uh, um, that 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 uh, school shooting. I forgot where it was. Uh, that kindergarten school shooting and shit like that. Those were Edomites. Look how they get down. You know, out of their top. Okay. Just vow. So it says. Uh, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. Okay. And Isaac loved Esau. I was about to skip all the way down, but I'm like, I ain't gonna do it like that. Uh, and Isaac, and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob saw a pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob, we're going to come back to the word Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Okay, so let's get the word Edom. I might do a part two because for now uh, I'm gonna make my videos you know short you know all right Right, and ruddy is a is a brown color. You know, Esau goes off on that. Okay. Bear with me. something yeah but it's supposed to say wasted away is he okay uh when you when you go into the hebrew when you go into the hebrew on uh on esau okay when you go into the uh when you go into the the word Esau, you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, you know, it goes into a uh, waste a waste of the way as he. But uh, let me see. Yeah, that's long enough. Uh with that, I want to end it and give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Hawakakwadash. Double honors to my old apostles, Great Millstone, ruling really teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone, pushing his truth. Uh, a ball, a ball, call me out, Charlotte.